Today, I'm going to show you how to make Korean cucumber side salads. And I'm going to show you how to make three different versions. This one is your wilted but still crunchy and slightly salty cucumber side dish. And this one is your fresh cucumber taste in this delicious liquid. And this is something that you could snack on all day. And this is my ultimate favorite spicy oimuchim. This is spicy, garlicky, tangy, and slightly sweet with just the right amount of salty taste. Yep, I'm drooling in my own mouth. And today's recipe also includes vegan friendly modifications as well. This, the like, I can put my face this. in it, is amazing. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. Modern Pepper is a Korean cooking channel that offers instructional Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean recipes as well as Korean fusion recipes. So please do consider subscribing. 맛있는 한식 요리와 한식 fusion 요리를 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. 구독 버튼 꼭 눌러주세요. 오이 무침 is a side salad, and 오이 means cucumbers. 무침 means hand mixed or hand tossed, and 오이 무침 can be made in so many different ways. And today I'm going to share three ways to make 오이 무침 that is super easy and tasty. So to make our 오이 무침, we need cucumbers, and I prefer to use Kirby cucumbers. Now, if you cannot get Kirby cucumbers, you can use Persian cucumbers or English cucumbers. And of course, Korean cucumbers will be my first choice if you can get to a Korean market. Now, you could skip through each section as you see here in the timeline for the recipe for each of these oi muchim side salads. About four to five carby cucumbers, give or take 12 ounces. And just cut them into just, you know, shapes like that. Spoon of vinegar, any mild vinegar will do. And one, two pitches of salt, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, and we're going to add some freshly grated garlic. about a quarter teaspoon and a little bit of lemon zest and this is optional if you don't have it it's okay but if you have it it's great always turn it over and scrape it off about one eighth teaspoon and we're going to add about a tablespoon of just the green part of your scallion And a sprinkle of sesame seeds or kesogum, roasted sesame seed salt. And this is optional, but we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of sogogi dashita, that's beef bouillon powder. Vegan friends use yandu, and yandu is a concentrated flavor enhancer that is plant-based. Product link is in the description box, so go check it out there. Now we're just gonna mix this. So the sugar needs to dissolve and kind of get in there with all the ingredients. 
like that. And we're gonna cover this with a saran wrap. And I want you to let this sit on your kitchen countertop for one hour. And this has been resting for a little over an hour on your kitchen counter. And I'm just gonna peel it back. Ooh, smells so good. Just toss it again. And this is all done. This liquid you see right here, that's super tasty. That liquid is so yummy. And we're just gonna pour it on top. About four to five carby cucumbers, give or take 12 ounces. You want the width to be about like so, less than a quarter of an inch. Let this rest for 15 minutes. All right, so it's been about good 15, 20 minutes. So now you can see the liquid from the cucumbers. That means it's ready. We're gonna put some cold water. Then just rinse it a little bit, a couple times. And then pour it into a strainer. Toss it and take a bunch in your palm like that and I want you to squeeze it. And you could kind of squeeze it hard on this one so that it looks like this, wilted and totally bruised. And we're gonna put it in here and do the rest. taste it at this point. Mm. So it should taste just slightly salty, but if it tastes too salty now, rinse it again in cold water and squeeze it out again. One scallion, just the green part only. A good drizzle of sesame oil, about half a tablespoon, and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. This is kesogum, roasted with salt too. About half a teaspoon, and then that's it. This is it. So easy. About four to five carby cucumbers, give or take 12 ounces.
간장, 고춧가루, 브라운 슈거, 비니거, 피쉬 소스. 피쉬 소스, my vegan friends, you can skip it or use vegan fish sauce. 메쉬 짱, 톰 엑스트랙 시럽, 원 스칼리언, crushed minced garlic, fresh garlic, and we're just going to mix it. Cut the ends off. And with this one, we're going to take some of the skin off. Not all of it, just a few sections, like so. Cut it down the middle, and then we're going to cut them in diagonals. Way. But you can cut it any shape you like. Thickness should be about like so, you know, half the width of your finger. Our onions. Look how pretty it looks. And some sesame oil, about a half a tablespoon. Some sesame seeds, about half a tablespoon. The smell of this is amazing. The sesame oil is just so nutty and fragrant, and then uh, with the gochujang, oh, such a good combination. And get a spoonful of the liquid. This liquid's so good. And for those of you that are new to fish sauce, Unlike the name itself, this does not taste fishy at all whatsoever. This tastes more like a really, really concentrated, salty taste of the sea, kind of. Not at all fishy. If you've never tried it, this is a huge flavor enhancer. This is so good. Vegan friends, obviously you can't use that. I have a recipe for vegan, quote unquote vegan fish sauce that you can make at home. Make yourself a jar, keep it in the fridge, and you could use it for this. You could use it for soups and stews. So this recipe is in my vegan kimchi recipe. So all the links will be in the description box. So you could go there and check it out. So with all these, you need to consume them within two to three days max, especially the spicy one. This is really the best when you have it right away because you want that really super fresh, crunchy cucumber taste. These two enjoy it within two, three days and it's fine. But let's taste it and make sure we like it the way we like it. So let's try the first one, the super easy one, the bruised one. Mm. You see how crunchy it is? So this is uh, slightly salty, but just salty enough so that with rice, it would be really good. And this I always add when I make my bibimbap. This is a really good fixing to add to that. Like, you know, when you are trying to diet, <laughs> but you crave something crunchy and savory, but not too salty that you end up wanting carb. This is my go-to like side cucumber dish. Mm. Mm. This 
this is super refreshing and fresh tasting but it has that um subtle subtle slight sweetness and a little bit of saltiness and then the garlic um, that we shaved in there it just you can't even taste it but it's in the background this is like you could just sit here and eat this all day i mean this is so good so good so good when we made this we added sogogi tashita which is a uh, beef bouillon powder this is a trick that i learned from my aunt's restaurant as well as my parents restaurant so in korean restaurants um the bigger ones the executive chef the head chef they don't do panchan they don't do side dishes that's not their thing that's like they don't they just deal with the entrees panchan is always made by another person usually an older lady and you know they call her panchan ajumma and she makes all the side dishes adding sogogi dashita to this is something that i learned from one of the panchan ajummas and they just know how to make side dishes really well now we're gonna taste the uh spicy one I don't know what I was thinking wearing white. I already got a stain right here, but well worth it. Bon appetit. This is my favorite. Mm. Mm. This like I could put my face in it. Put my face in it. <laughs> so this is supposed to be slightly vinegary slightly slightly sweet not too sweet and obviously a little bit garlicky and spicy uh so so good and a lot of people call this side dish cucumber kimchi but it's not cucumber kimchi cucumber kimchi is actually called oi sobagi and I have a recipe for that if you want to learn how to make oyu sobagi. That's totally different from this. This is like a quick, easy cucumber side dish that just, oh, hits the spot. If you are a fan of cucumber side dishes, make sure to also check out my cucumber pickle, light and refreshing pickle that you can make at home, as well as cold cucumber soup. Super yummy and perfect for hot summer days. I'm gonna make a commitment to eat more Korean cucumber side dishes to help uh, shed some COVID-15 pounds that I put on. <laughs> All right, well, I wanna thank everyone for watching. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. Thank you very much. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos that you see right here. 